The investigation widening into how newborns were harmed in an intensive care unit. Police say it could take into next month to wrap up the investigation. The injuries at Meritor Hospital in Madison range from bruising on the children's arms to one with a skull fracture. Patient care is now under the microscope after the Madison nurse's license was suspended. Now, Julia Fellow shows us how future nurses learn to take care of our most vulnerable population here in Milwaukee. Julia? And that Madison investigation has nothing to do with any hospitals in Milwaukee, but it is putting nursing under this microscope. So we took a look at how nursing students here at MATC learn patient safety on day one. They even learn how to deal with their own stress in difficult situations. If you walk into a NICU today, you will notice that it's very quiet. Kathy Lieberthal teaches future nurses at MATC preemies can feel your emotion, which could affect their heart rate and breathing patterns. If you have any uh, startling motion, this baby's going to startle. For a two pound baby, even the slightest touch can affect them. Their fingernails are very, very, very thin and they, they, can, they can just rub off. I just kind of like remove this. The baby barely notices that I'm even touching them. Showing compassion to a distressed mother can make all the difference. When you're in interacting with them, you have to be very empathetic. These are called soft skills. Lieberthal says is just as important as the medicine they practice. They are leaving their most precious baby in hands of somebody else and they don't have control over that. Nursing Department Chair Denise Owens calls them our most vulnerable population. A student would not go into a situation without knowing what is right and what is wrong for how you handle an infant. Calling out those wrong practices students make from the start make all the difference in patients lives. There is a nursing shortage right now. There's about 350 nursing students at MATC. After about two years, they can go on to get their bachelor's degree and all the credits transfer to places like UWM and other locations in Concordia. Reporting live downtown, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.